Hey, good morning, guys. This is Stephen Howard. My dog Yucca and Rio are out roaming in the wilderness somewhere around here. Uh, I'm out at Mount Charleston, just really enjoying the the weather. It's uh, springtime, but it's relatively hot down in the valley today. Probably 111, 112 like yesterday. Might be a bit cooler because I feel cooler up here, cooler breezes. Um, I'm going to go climbing later today and do some bouldering. And I'm going to go to a more popular area. I was uh, like wilderness bouldering last time. So uh, I'm going to try and see what Kyle Canyon has to offer later today. But um, I went through work yesterday and it was, it was a little bit rough. Uh, especially at the end, but, um, I'll be honest with you, anything that doesn't kill you and doesn't, uh, hurt your relationship, probably make it stronger. And, um, uh, my knees definitely don't feel any stronger, but, um, I don't think I need knee surgery. I just think I need stronger knees. Uh, today I'll probably stretch out, do a little bit of yoga, uh, eat really good this morning, and um, I do some amazing uh, home fries with uh, red and green bell peppers and onions and some eggs and uh, bacon or sausage, and uh, you know, enjoy life when you have the time, when you have time away from work, really enjoy life, you know. Um, take your kids out to a park early, uh, take a picnic lunch. If it's a hot day, uh, have a, a playtime at a water park or a splash pad. Um, take your kids out and have fun. <clears throat> you know, we all forget about being a kid. We all forget about having fun. We all uh, tend to get glazed over that life is just this mundane thing where we have to work and pay bills and die. And that is not the at all what life is about. Yes, bills are there. Yes, work is there. It'll always be there. Um, it's the moments like these and the stuff that you see and the vibe that you create they create your vibe at work. In other words, you bring the peacefulness and the resolve of nature, the vibration of nature within you to work with you. That's wonderful. That means that you're doing the best. You have the best intention. You're the best for all. That you're strong as oak. And that you can make it through anything. You know, I've, I've installed wood stoves when there was six and a half feet of snow. It's 12 degrees outside, and we have to haul the, the stove through these little paths of snow, and it's a 600-pound stove and two guys. And then one guy goes and has to go up on the roof and clear all the snow, and the other guy goes into the house and sets the stove and make sure everything's correct. And then we cut a hole in the roof of their house in the middle of winter and stuff a pipe down it and build the flashing around it and seal it up again and make sure it's done right and going to hold. And then we come back in the springtime and redo a lot of work. So I can tell you that there's a lot of uh, jobs that I've done. I've ha probably had 200 different jobs in my life. And some of the jobs were way, 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 way harder than moving. Um, imagine five days a week being on a whitewater raft with six guests going down class four and five whitewater. Imagine the shape you would have to be in rescuing people and capsizing rafts and flipping them back over and jumping back in and taking death-defying swims down the river. 
getting bruised and battered and still having to wake up at 5 a.m. and pack a trip and get going. So um, I was a whitewater raft guide in my youth and I've been back uh, two years ago in the springtime. I, I was with Lewis and Clark rafting on the Locksaw in Idaho and a junior guide or a rookie guide uh, let me take the helm and I guided us down the first section of the river and there were 12 foot waves in the middle of the river and instead of taking the side route or not really having any action and doing safe safe thing I went down the throat of the 12 foot waves and bashed into all of them full force and we had an amazing ride. Some of the people said they had been down that river before and they had never been down those waves the way I did them. And it's because I learned early on that if you navigate waves, when you go up the wave, if you're crooked sideways like this, and then right at the last moment before you go over the top, you turn the tail the other way and bring the raft straight down the wave. Uh, it's an amazing ride. I almost felt like I was going to get bucked out of the back of the raft. Um, and then we came into a, ra uh, <clears throat> a rapid, I think, called Pinball. Um, I think it was called Pinball. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, it was Class 4 Rapid and Big Rock and Rap Rock and the junior guide, I said, you want to take the helm? You know, you know this river better than I do and blah, blah, blah. And one of the guides in front of us got caught in between the wrap rock and another rock and was trying to get flushed through. And we should have bashed into him with some speed. Unfortunately, we got flipped and we all swam for about a half mile. And that spring water, man, it took my breath away. I felt like I was going to die. I went down those 12 foot standing waves with my life jacket by myself, underwater getting kicked by people. And it was crazy. All six or eight of us were recovered. And the guide and I flipped the raft back over. And by the time I got back in the raft, I was done. I was just done. So I got out at lunchtime and uh, just laid around. I was, I was oxygen deprived. I was a little bit overweight back then. That might have had something to do with it. 